Hi, my name is Gaurav Dave, and in this video, we will have a look at the kind of subjects a CUET aspirant aiming for DU should take if he is a science student. I mean, he or she is currently in class 12 doing science and then aims to go into DU. Okay, so what would you be studying right now? The subjects that you would be studying would be physics, chemistry, and then either biology or mathematics, one of the two. So the most or sometimes both, the most common combinations are either PCB or PCM. Based on these two groupings, we will have a look at the courses available to you in three categories. But what is the most common subjects, you know, combination that you should take? This would be English or Hindi as your language. You can select either based on your comfort. The domain subjects more or less fixed, physics, chemistry, biology or mathematics. And then your general test, which I would strongly recommend because it opens up a lot of courses on the business side and on the journalism side as well. Okay, so let's look at the first combination. What are the courses that you get if you are a bio student? So you may or may not have studied mathematics but you definitely have taken biology. So here, if you see, you get access to a lot of BSc honors programs, most of which have their foundation in biology. Anthropology, biological sciences, botany, zoology, all of these. So if you look at the combination here, most of these have a fixed combination. Any one language, which in most cases would be English, plus physics and chemistry. This is fixed. So, except for biochemistry, which does not require or even biochemistry requires physics on an optional basis. But otherwise, physics and chemistry is mandatory. What about the other subjects? Anthropology, biological sciences, etc. There you can select any one of these four. So, you have either biology, biological studies, biotechnology or biochemistry. Whatever you studied in your class 12 could also become your domain subject. So, if you look at the combinations for the first five, anthropology, biological sciences, botany, zoology and biomedical science, as well as the last few programs, which is geology, microbiology, life sciences. You can cover all of them through this one combination. Now, what if you want to apply through maths? Biochemistry is still open for you. You can use the combination of one language, chemistry, biology and maths. No physics here. Similarly, in environmental sciences, you can select either bio or maths. In food technology, either bio or maths. For that matter, if you look at geology, interesting. Because here you can apply either through biology or through geography or geology or through mathematics. So, this is one of those subjects where you have, you know, one of those courses where you have multiple options. So, here most of these biology based courses will require a PCB combination. So, your ideal course combination here should be or your subject combination here should be English, Physics, Chemistry, either of these four, Bio, Biological Studies, Biochemistry, etc. and General Test. This will give you access through all these courses. Okay, what if you didn't study bio? What if you studied maths? Then in that case, you get more courses on the computers, electronics side. Look at these courses. The first one, physics, chemistry, the honors in chemistry and physics, clear cut, fixed combination. One language, physics, chemistry, maths. In fact, that applies to the niche course on polymer science as well. If you go on to the uh, computer side, look at all these courses, electronics, instrumentation, physical science with electronics, physical science with computer science. You have two options there. You need to select physics. You need to select maths. So, these two are definite. But your optional becomes either chemistry or computer science. So, you know, when we were looking at biochemistry, you realize chemistry and maths were fixed. But physics was optional. Similarly, your physics and maths are fixed, but you can select between either chemistry or computer science. 
so it applies to electronics it applies to instrumentation it applies to all your uh, you know computer science based programs and then you have a few other niche programs which is your physical science with analytical methods in chemistry and biochem applied physical science with industrial chemistry which has a fixed combination pcm so when you look at the pcm combination these will be more on the computer side lastly what if you studied maths you studied bio but you are possibly you know weak in both and you don't want to uh, take the maths and bio exams again or you want to change your streams you are a science student i get this question most of the times i am a science student and i need to go into the arts courses what do i do so this is the entire list of courses that you can actually pursue so if you are a science student let's say you want to do ba honors history and go for an ias later so what could be the combination that you take one language plus any three subjects so it could be your pcm it could be your pcb if you feel you don't want to study bio or maths select physics and chemistry and then go in for one of those other subjects like say innovation and entrepreneurship or say you know uh, any of the pure art subject history geography whatever you are aiming for so that is also something you can do even as a science student you can even go from science to pure bcom to the vocational courses and to the journalism courses so for those of you who feel science is not for me i need to go into journalism you can still take english three subjects and the general test so do not think that just because you are in one stream you are restricted to that stream the options are open however i would suggest break down your options into these three groups with bio with maths and without both and then try and apply so do take a lot of care before selecting your subjects when you fill the cvt form and wish you all the best thank you